Hello, I'm Adriana. I'm a master soul path teacher and guide. This reading is for Leo, for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Leo. Okay, I'm going to be asking for messages channeled from the divine to help you right now, to help you understand your situation even better, and to give you more empowerment with your situation. Okay, this reading is not here's what you should do otherwise, or here's what's going to happen regardless. I want to give you more power, more agency for change. So I'm asking for different kinds of information than a fatalistic tarot card reading, because I honestly don't feel that helps you very much. All right, let's see what is in front of us. Connect me to Leo energy, please. What's going on with them? Okay. Hierophant. And Leo is responding with strength. Wow, this is great. This is you and your element. Leo is associated with the strength card. We have the eight on there. We've got the lion. Good omen. Okay, so Hierophant. Hierophant is traditionally associated with Taurus, which is one of your more challenging signs to get along with, Leo. Okay, what is the Hierophant message here? Is this about a mentor? Is this about something else? Okay, I believe right now, Leo, you're being challenged to find your own way, to search out the path that is truest to you. And this isn't a path that perhaps someone else has taken before. This is your own path that you're forging. And you're approaching the situation by going at it through your heart. You're truly trying to find your heart's path and your heart's desire. And you're, I feel like you are stepping up to the challenge. Your heart is open. I also love this because I hope you can see he's touching a heart as he's pointing to the labyrinth. So you do have to follow your heart here to go through and to figure out what comes next. So this is a challenge for you to really come into the essence of that Leo energy. What is the heart asking of you? What is the heart asking you to do? Right, I think I'm going to keep going with these cards. They're very, especially this Hierophant card, there's a lot of power coming off of this card, and I'm not quite sure exactly how it's manifesting in your life specifically, but this is a very powerful time, and so if what you're dealing with seems trivial, it's not. This is important. <sighs> okay. What is Leo to do? What will help Leo here? And what can't Leo control? What's out of Leo's control? <laughs> okay, interesting. Three of Pentacles. So this is a great card to get right now, considering we've got these other ones, because the main message of this card is you are on the right path. You are creating your Dharma. You are essentially doing your life's purpose. And this is a very creative card. So creative projects are really favored right now. Making anything, especially working with someone else, is very favored. And so it's about keep making, keep creating, keep doing what you're doing. Don't get frustrated by seeming obstacles or what other people think. Queen of Swords are critical thoughts or criticism from the outside as well as criticism from the inside. But because this is in the what can't you control, this is what other people think. This is what other people may be thinking of you. And Leo, we're talking about the fact that you're not treading the normal path. You're not walking on a path that looks familiar or even understandable to other people right now, but you know you need to keep doing it. And the Three of Pentacles coming out says there's something in you. It's kind of like that pure goddess creation. There's a lot of feminine power here 
the creation energy of, of the goddess energy is speaking to you right now and you just have to keep going you just have to keep creating in this new way that's totally different and it's not conventional it's not going to make logical sense because you're following your heart keep in mind that when people criticize that is a sign that they are not connected to their heart energy, that they are disconnected from their love, from love for themselves and love for other people. It's, we really want an opening between the heart chakra and the, the head, the crown, the third eye, all right? That's why we have the throat. It's supposed to keep things open. But when this closes off, all the energy kind of goes up here. And so all people can't understand when you're acting from the heart or, or giving from the heart. If someone else is living completely in their head, they can't understand what's going on with you. It's like for two things to understand each other, they have to be speaking the same language, right? So if two are out of the heart, then the hearts are talking to each other. But if one's talking out of the heart and the other one's talking out of the head, this is meeting with dead air. And this is looking down going, well, that makes no sense to me at all. So you have to just let the other people say what they're going to say, think what they're going to think, and really assert your own independence here. Because there's feminine energy going on, you may feel like you want more support than what you're getting, but you need to also take a leaf from the Queen of Swords book and be independent. Just support yourself. This is going to be a time where you may not get a lot of accolades. You may not get a lot of um, praise for what you're doing because people just aren't understanding it. So just keep going on your soul's path. Keep listening to what, what's going on. And I think this is really funny because this Three of Pentacles is really integrated into the rainbow, whereas the Queen of Swords is in front of the rainbow. So it's like... The rainbow is created out of the heart. It is the embodied in this Three of Pentacles card, but she's completely missing it. It's like it's happening behind her and she doesn't even see it. So what I'm saying, she can't conceptualize or connect with what you're doing and who you're trying to be. So let her or him just be and you just be yourself. What is the potential for growth for Leo here? This is going to help you heal your own fight with your mind, your own fight with your critical mind. When you are, so this, this dynamic that is playing out in the world outside of you is helping you heal something inside. So you also, in addition to this, external critical person have an internal critic that tells you nope that doesn't make sense nope your heart is is off its rocker nope we can't do that and so it always wants to shut the heart down yet you just following your heart allowing that external person to criticize and judge will actually help you come to terms with your own internal critic because when that one starts talking you can say well I'm gonna do what I just did with this queen of swords here I'm just going to let you say what you have to say, but I'm not going to listen to you because I know my heart is stronger. I know this calling in my heart is stronger. Eventual outcome. Love this. Prince of Wands. Look at this creative energy here. And this is creative manifesting energy because he's connected with the magician in this card. So you literally get to manifest magic. I mean, how cool is that, Leo? <laughs> so I, I think this is really a wonderful reading for you because it's showing you that you are really tapping into the essence of why you're here. Leo energy is, is about creativity. It is about following the path of the heart. But especially if you're a Leo sun, it might be what you struggle with the most. Leo sun, Leo rising might struggle with this the most to really follow their heart and trust the divine creativity and divine magic that the Prince of Wands can do. Prince of Wands also tells us that the inner child is very much awake and at play. And he has 
the ability to create without caring what other people think. It's like kids when they're first doing artwork and they, they haven't been praised too much yet and they just do these crazy wild out there things and they're just expressing who they are and they're brave and that they, they don't know they should care about the outside. But it's like you tap back into that bravery, which we're seeing over and over and over in your cards. You tap back into that bravery and then the magic truly happens. Because when we're, create, when we're connected to goddess energy, we are connected to the essence of our reality, really, our real reality. Because our reality is always creating new. We're always tr trying to create new situations, new things to experience, new partners, new opportunities, new thoughts, new creations, new pieces of art, new, just, just new. And when you really follow what your heart is asking you to do, you tap into that newness and that just true creative spirit. And look, he's, he again is embodied and touching the rainbow. So we have we have the resolution of this rainbow stuff going on. So it's like all of all of you gets to be involved in this creative energy. And I don't I can't underscore enough the magic that's possible. This is magic that we don't even know what it's going to be for you. Something magical that falls into your lap that just looks like, whoa, <laughs> this this could this is something I've never experienced before or I can't wait for this to happen or how am I so lucky to experience this? It all comes from following that creative impulse because it gets you in tune with that feminine creative energy that is the essence of spirit, that is the essence of soul. So Leo, this is an awesome reading. You really have a lot of good things going for you, a lot of healing, a lot of bravery, um, but in the end, so much joy and so much, I'll just keep saying magic. All right, thank you so much for joining me, Leo. If you're looking to go even deeper to really look into your specific soul path and what you came here to do, are you aligned with it? How can you take this message and align with it even more? Please do check out soulguidancewithadriana.com. Yes, or my email is in the description below if you prefer to communicate that way. I do really love helping people master their astrology get in touch with their soul path in practical ways and live the most abundant, fulfilling life you can. So thanks so much, Leo, and I'll see you again soon.